Community Development Corporations have quite a range of uh, product that they uh, want to bring to market. And one right now, uh, one of the constraints for them bringing that to market is the high cost of capital that um, is current in the marketplace with the price on low-income housing tax credits being low and the price of debt being higher and, and constraints around the credit markets. And then the, the fact that the subsidy side is, uh, is rather constant and potentially will diminish. And those two things are putting uh, constraints on the ability for nonprofit developers to produce the housing right now. Uh, that many of them are uh, finding willing investors out there. Uh, capital is available in many markets, um, but the higher price of it and the lower subsidy is creating uh, an issue for them to actually bring in and produce that, the housing and the quantities that the market is needing. The, uh, the CDC model is one that um, the, the uh, investment uh, is a very project-by-project project investment and limited resources flow up to the organizational level. And at that level, they, uh, unlike the, the private market in which uh, many more resources flow to the, uh, the enterprise entity, um, the, uh, the nonprofits find that they need to uh, bring more housing online in order to sort of sustain their operations and continue the provision while uh, many of the for-profit developers actually uh, can sustain themselves through the, the sort of more mixed income portfolios that they manage. You know, part of it is trying to find uh, more investors that um, in the past they had uh, stronger investor relations and many of those investors are out of the market so to the extent they can find new investors uh, that they can uh, convinced to invest in their product, they can maybe um, bring the price of the, the capital to, in, a, in, a, in a, a range that makes uh, production of the housing more feasible. Uh, so one, one, one attempt is to improve the investor market in here. Another is to look at uh, longer term solutions to sort of cover this gap between a higher cost of capital, which will probably s stay lower than it was just uh, in the recent past, and uh, the subsidy market, which will either remain steady or decrease, that there needs to be some new uh, investment vehicle that sort of fills that gap and supports the entities at the enterprise level to produce uh, the housing that uh, is needed in their communities. So move a little bit away from project by project investment and begin to think of these as uh, developers that are uh, feasible for investment at the enterprise level.